For the sign of Aquarius, hello and welcome to my channel. Got the Seven of Wands, and it's with the Four of Swords. The Seven of Wands. You could start to feel like that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top and things should be going really well. You should be feeling really good and your projects, if you have any, they should be moving right along. You could also have some regular moments of self-doubt, but now is really the time to feel any type of fear that you have and do it anyway. Also, don't, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card, it also points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So it's with the Four of Swords. Now this card is showing, it's showing a need for a break. You see how this man, he's on his back in the cold snow. He could be in the mountains. He looks like he escaped from the world. And he just decided to fall out. So it's about needing a break. Could be from normal life. Could be from this crazy virus that we're all experiencing these days. Um, but yeah, this can also mean that you or someone in your life, they may withdraw for a time. Keep in mind, this withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. So it could mean a few things. For example, time in the hospital. Well, we all don't want to go there these days, but that's what this card is saying. It could mean time in jail, and no one wants to go there these days either. But that's what this card is saying, okay? So hopefully it's nothing like that, because I think these are those two are the worst places to be at this time. But it's a sign to give people their space when you get this Four of Swords. So you're probably in need of some time and space for yourself. Others could be pushing too far. Well, they could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention, put it that way. But don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word. Because if you push in this circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. So basically coming up in June, it looks like people are going to be Maybe some people will be demanding of you, of your time, but you're in need of some rest. This could be you or someone coming towards you like this, or someone you know. But um, there's a need for a break. Some type of withdrawal is possible. But the withdrawal or ghosting, you could feel like someone's ghosting you. Or you them. Just keep in mind, it's not permanent. It's temporary. Somebody needs some type of rest after struggle. And because of the Seven of Wands, it's showing that whatever happens, you still come out on top. Yeah. So I know these two cards are pretty vague. It needs more clarification, and we'll do that once we see what the rest of the reading is saying. So we'll, we'll put these two aside for now, and we'll come back to them in a minute. But for now, let's move on over and take a look at how they see you, the person you're dealing with. Now, they see you like the Eight of Pentacles and Justice. The Eight of Pentacles, it points to necessary efforts. It looks like you got a lot on your plate there. Yeah, because this man, he's, he's, he's actually working. I hope you can see the card. He's working. It looks like it's late afternoon and it's about to become nighttime dark. And it's pouring down with heavy rain. And he's still working. So it's about dedication to, to the task at hand. If you let it work for its own sake, that can be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time, but this Eight of Pentacles, it's showing a very, very hard work period. And this doesn't have to be a negative thing, but you got to be prepared for it. 
So this is one of the ways they see you. They see you with a lot of passion and motivation, and you're inspired. And it looks like you want to master this connection. You want to master it. You want to get it right. You want to do whatever it takes, day and night, <laughs> come rain or shine. Yeah, you got passion to, to keep it going. Now it's with the justice card. And the justice card, it deals with the ideal of karma. Law of cause and effect. Boomerang. Some of you know karma as the word boomerang. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily if you're directly involved in something such as a court case. It's likely to be resolved at least a great degree, a large degree in your favor. So they also see you like justice. Now with justice, you could be thinking that you have the right to do so. Justice has finally been served. There's some clarity that's been brought to light. Some truth has finally come out. So I'm picking up that um, they see you have, they see you as Hmm. Maybe something has come to life. Some clarity has been brought to the forefront. And you feel like you have the right to be motivated and inspired towards them or this connection. So maybe some truth has come to light. And you feel like you gotta you gotta work really hard in this connection. Now how you see them is a devil card in the uh, oh what is that card? <laughs> oh that's a knight. That's a knight of sword. Yeah now this knight of sword for how you see them it brings an upbeat cheerful energy. Really upbeat yeah, it means that someone or, or something desirable is about to seek you out. So your physical, your emotional, and your spiritual energy is at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. It points to a lot of acti activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. So you will not feel like waiting for anything to come to you, and that's a good thing. So you'll be going after your heart's desire. So you see them wanting to reach out to you really fast. The Knights, their fast action, impulsive. Um, they're planning, they're all about action. So they've got something to say to you. They wanna talk to you. Yeah, it's about news. They've got some information. They wanna reach out to you. They, gotta, they wanna communicate and they're coming in really fast. Yeah. So, it's with the devil card, though. Now, the devil card, that's an interesting card there. The devil card, no matter what your situation, just know that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, be sure you come to that conclusion on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from, from whatever restrictions you feel are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You could have a feeling that you're not in control of your life. Sometimes that happens as a result of our own actions, but more often it's a byproduct of inaction. So take action. Take whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling of being in control. Even if that's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Small steps are important too. So, you see them as wanting to come towards you. And with this devil card, they got some devil energy. Devil energy, they got addictions. Addictions could be greed, envy, lust, 
materialism, obsession, um, alcoholism, drugs, uh, addictions, uh, devil energy, devil energy, a, a troll has devil energy, a troll is devil energy, we all know what they are, if you got anything online, a lot of people experience trolls, so I guess most of you are familiar with that word, those people who like to bother people for no reason at all, devil energy, so that's how you see them, <laughs> you know, that's how you see your person, but it looks like they, they're coming, they want to come towards you really fast. So they're, they're planning. Yeah. This could be someone new that wants to, someone wants to um, reach out to you. They want to seek you out with this Knight of Swords. Or it could be someone that you're already with. Because that's how you see them, so. Maybe it's a past person, maybe, but there's someone that wants to rush in. But you know they got devil energy. So let's look at why it's happening. Seven of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is a card about returns on investments. It can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you or figuratively such as investments of time and effort and energy that you put into a relationship and you'll be reaping what you have sown this is positive you'll be feeling more secure than you have in a while and things will be moving along and you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a really good cause you may have to decide whether to put your energy into things people and situations that you're already involved with or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. So, one of the reasons why it's happening is because someone really wants this. Someone really wants this connection. Yeah, because if you take a look at the picture, this lady she's pouring water into a a pot. It looks like she's trying to grow a plant or a tree. It looks like it could be about seven or eight feet tall, maybe. It's very dark green, and it looks like it's very healthy. So, it's showing that she takes care, takes very good care of it. And she wants to nurture it, and she wants to uh, make sure it continues to grow. So, that's one of the reasons why it's happening. You or this person wants this connection they want it they want it to they want to they want growth they want to grow with you now it's with the nine of pinnacles which is a beautiful card in the tarot very encouraging it means that your financial worries are over and that things will be going better than you thought possible so enjoy this good energy and share your wealth and happiness with others. So, with this Nine of Pentacles, when it talks about relationships, it rises to new heights of intimacy and joy. Yeah. So, it's a very good card in the tarot when it comes to relationships. Very good. It could go to the next level of commitment. It's just short of one pinnacle. So you guys are almost there. Now, I know this reading was kind of scattered, so let's see if we can pull it together. <laughs> All right, so we'll start from the present time again so we can get the complete picture. So seven of wands. It's about coming out on top, being the last man standing. And that's what he's doing right now. No telling what kind of struggles he went through just to be the last man standing up there. But that's what someone wants here. But with the Four of Swords there for the present time, 
there's some type, there's some rest that's needed after struggle. All right, so yeah, somebody may withdraw for temporary, for for a minute or two, or or a day or so, but then they come back. Um, your person they see you as wanting to work really hard towards them and this connection, and you feel like you you can do it. You you got the right to do so with the justice card there. You feel like, yes, this is the thing to do, to work really hard. Because you see your person has some addictions, some devil energy. So you feel like, you, it looks like you, why justice is there? It looks like you feel like you can be, be their strength or help them to overcome whatever issues or devil energy they have. So you're willing to work hard. To help pull them through. And they're coming towards you really fast. This is... Yeah. It looks like they know you're good for them. They know you're good for them. And that you're willing to put in the effort. To make this connection work. And why it's happening? We got, we got the Nine of Pentacles here. Okay. And the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you or your person or the both of you want this connection to grow. Yeah, grow healthy and strong. And because the Nine of Pentacles is there, it has the potential to go to the next level, rise to new heights, become committed. So it looks like your person, you see them rushing in. Yeah, they want to be the last man standing. Yeah. They want to win this connection. That's why they're rushing in. Mm -hmm. But this card of um, the Four of Swords is showing someone could withdraw. Someone needs a break. Yeah. You've been working really hard, Aquarius. Looks like for this, uh, towards this person, you feel like you have the right to do so. So you may, you might be this four of swords needing some rest. Yeah, because that's a lot of work that eight of pentacles up there for how they see you. You might just decide to, to take a break, maybe go away for a day or two. Because it looks like it's, a, like I said, with eight of pentacles, it's a lot of work. Dealing with this person. But uh, this may not even be a, a love reading. This could be a family member that you're trying to help out. And it's, it's hard work trying to help get them through their addictions. But they're coming towards you, like I said, because they know that you're good for them. But it looks like you need some rest. Yeah, and... It looks like they'll come out on top of the situation. The connection will grow. And, yeah, they come out on top or either you come out, out on top after you get some rest. But I'm picking up that it's them that's going to come out on top. Yeah, because they got you there. And you look like you're really strong and determined. Yeah, I'm picking up that this this may not be a love reading. This could be a family member, two family members here, or it could be someone that you know you're trying to help them out through some type of struggle. Yeah, but the good thing is that we've got this seven of wands where it looks like your person comes out on top and it looks like you you went through the struggle with them. And you, you take a break after it's over. <laughs> That's what the Four of Swords is doing. He's like, whoa, that was a lot of work. So, yeah, it's nice to have a friend like you, Aquarius, willing to work hard to help someone through their problems and issues. Problems and issues. Problems and issues.